Hello, this is Amber of Brown Bombshell Beauty. I'm going to do a quick video on creating the perfect red lip. First, I'm going to start out with a glossy red lip. It's summertime, it's warm out. Um, you may not necessarily want a matte lip. You might want something a little glossy, or if you're just working your way into red lips and you want to maybe ease yourself into it by using a gloss, this is a great alternative for you. Um, so the first thing you want to do is put on a little bit of lip balm. Um, I'll put some on. Actually, I think I'll put on a little too much because you don't want it to be glossy. So I'm just going to blot it off here. And the first thing that you want to do is line the lips. And my favorite red pencil um, for brown skin is by NARS. And it's his pencil, lip pencil in Amazon. It's the NARS in Amazon sure if you can make that out or not. So you're going to take the pencil and you're just going to line the outer rim of the lip. Now, because I'm doing a glossy lip, what I kind of want to do is fill in a little bit on the top lip so that we can have a little bit of dimension going. And you're going to take a pencil, excuse me, a lip brush, and blend it all in. You don't want to have just a crazy harsh red line because what that's going to do is when the lipstick fades, you're just going to have a crazy red ring around your lip. So take it. and blend it inwards. There we go. And I'm going to blot it down a little bit. So you see we've got the deeper red up here on the top and then just like a little bit of a faded red lip on the bottom. Then I'm going to take some gloss from L'Oreal's Hip Collection. They're jelly balms in Delectable, which is number 320. You can see, oops, I've got it turned the wrong way. So then we're just going to take this, use our lip brush, get a little bit on the brush there. And apply it like that. Okay, so we've got the glossy um, red lip going. It's shiny and shimmery. It's a little bit more sheer. It's not going to, you know, kind of pow at you the way that a classic matte red lip would do. So it's sort of, sort of a, sh a shimmery, shiny version. And if this is still too much, you can still just matte it down or blot it out, sorry. And then just take your finger, dab a little bit of it on and then just dab on a little bit of gloss. And then you have a sheer look, like that. See, it's pretty, it's sheer, it's a little bit of red for you. It looks like you maybe had a little bit of a popsicle, that kind of look. So now I'm gonna show you how to do more of a classic red look. Now, my favorite red lip for brown skin is also from NARS. It's his Fire Down Below lipstick. That's the name of the shade, Fire Down Below. But I can't seem to find it anywhere. I can't remember where I wore it last, so I'm going to have to look for that. But I'm going to use uh, an alternate. It's more of a bright red. It's more of a cream instead of a matte, but it's still going to give you that same um, red look. So we're going to take that same NARS pencil in Amazon and apply it. And this time we're going to apply it all over the whole mouth, upper and lower lip. And fill it in completely. And you know, the reason why you're doing this is because lipstick fades. And with red lipstick, 
when it fades, if you just line the outer rim of the lip and that center part where the lipstick is fades, like I said, you're just going to have a crazy um, ring going on. So we don't want that. So fill in the whole lip. And you know, if you find a good pencil that you like, a good red pencil, you can just leave that um, on just like this and use it as your red lipstick. I love this color. Just filling it in. Then I'm going to blot it a little bit. So that it's not as creamy. It's a little bit more dry. Then I'm going to take um, lipstick. This is also from L'Oreal's Hip Collection. This is the red lip color that you see Kerry Washington wearing in the ads when the lipstick first came out. This is number 358, and it's called Bold. If you can make that out or not. But here it is. I mean, this is a true, for real, for real red. If you're not ready for red, then you might not want to try this right out the gate. So I'm going to apply this just straight out of the tube on top of this pencil. There you go. Then we're going to blot it because you want to do that to help it to stay longer. Blot. Blot. And then put on a little bit more. It's all about layering. That's how you get it to last a long time. And there you go. You're a perfect red lip for brown skin. You just want to make sure that you're keeping all of the rest of the makeup that you have on neutral. As you can see I've got just a little bit of um, a shimmery eye shadow but it's very similar to my skin tone. A um, little bit of black liner, hardly no blush, just even off the skin tone. When you're wearing red lip, um, that's the most important thing, making sure that the skin looks perfect so that it's not going to distract from the lip. It's just going to enhance it. You just want to be able to have the great foundation for a perfect red lip. So there you go. Um, it's really easy. There's no reason to be scared. People are always afraid of red lipstick, but there's no reason to be afraid of it. 99% of it is finding the right shade of red. And I think I've got some great alternatives here for you, some great options, rather, for red lips. Um, the pencil, again, is NARS and Amazon Perfect Red for us brown girls. A great red lip gloss that you can really turn up the color and volume from sheer to a really bold is from L'Oreal Hip. It's their Jelly Balm in Delectable. And then um, a great department store matte alternative is the NARS Lipstick and Fire down below um, that I couldn't find here. <laughs> and then a great drugstore version for more of a creamy red is also from L'Oreal Hip. And it's color 358, bold. There you go. And there you have it. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video and um, check out my beauty blog. Uh, it's at brownbombshellbeauty.com. And you can send me an email there and um, send me any questions you might have or make a video request. So I hope to see you on the site. See you later.